Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossring in BL tonight. First up, we got Roland. We got Elon Musk coming in with a whopping valuation here. This is for one of his other companies, just as well known as Tesla, but a little bit on the back burner. That's SpaceX coming in with a reported valuation of 74 billion US dollars, folks, with a raise of 850 million US dollars. So not as huge of some of the successful raises from Tesla, but it's a lot of money, just under a billion US dollars. First up tonight, we got Mailpack Group declaring a dividend here. It's a good one, six cents per share. Mailpack really becoming not just a growth stock in the market, but also an income play. So if you want some income, traditionally, we've always spoken about Carreras, cargo handlers, a few of the other companies on the stock market, but Mailpack pays out most of their earnings, folks. NCB Financial Group trading in their shares. A buy here. Connected party buying up 78,994 shares during the period February 11th to February 12th, 2021. It's always important whether you're an investor or on the sidelines. Look for these corporate action items, folks. It's great to see. In NCB, the stock price has been down quite a bit from its 52 week high. So look for these corporate action items. A connected party here buying up some shares. It's not a lot just under 100,000 units. Big time general insurance company here. They've expanded regionally. We covered that a couple of months ago. Barbados, Trinidad for general accidents. Ticker symbol, Genac. Gross premiums growing very nicely here to 12 billion Jamaican dollars. We're gonna talk about that huge figure. The earnings came off, it was expected. Not as much as this, but the earnings fell here 57% for general accident. Gross premiums hitting 12 billion Jamaican for the year ending, that's 2020. December jumping from Jamaican 10.7 billion. The big reasons here, claims expenses and management expenses, especially claims expenses. We expected that on Business Life where the main drivers of lower profits. Earnings per share falling to 27 cents Jamaican for 2020. December versus Jamaican 63 cents the year before. Quite the opposite now from big time Wigton Wind Farm. They had a rough time for a few quarters before. We're seeing a big improvement here. Vast production as well as net profit increases in Q3, third quarter by Wigton. Production surging up 48% in the management discussion analysis. Congrats to Wigton, we love to see that. Last up, overseas markets, Goldman Sachs, big time investment bank, the biggest on Wall Street pushing deeper now into the robo advisory game. They had Marcus Bank, a different brand, so they didn't want brand confusion clearly with Goldman Sachs. They started that brand called Marcus, and now they're coming up with Marcus Invest. So they view it as being a little bit less riskier, will diversify their revenues, they're moving slow and steady, but you can start with as little as a thousand US per investment account. That's their whole goal here with Marcus Invest. I'm Mark Crosscreen, this is Business Live.